Hi, it's Doodling Debbie here with another video tutorial and this one is going to be how to use those um, templates that you find on the internet that other crafters have shared and turn them into cutting files. I found this nice little template, it's for a diaper card on the internet and I'm going to show you how to convert it into a cutting file. Okay, I brought it in, it was in PDF format, I took it into Photoshop and I converted it into a JPEG file. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you one. Sometimes this doesn't always work. But we're going to go to our trace window and we're going to select the trace area. Here we go. Okay, and now you can see that these little lines had highlighted in a red. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the outer edge and I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see how it turned out. See this one turned out pretty good. Sometimes we get those double lines and there's times when we can edit them and delete that little line that goes like right inside here. But this one turned out really good and probably because these lines are heavy. Now, now that we've got that done, all you have to do is go in with your line tool Let's place this back on top of here and we'll go in with our line tool and um, I always like to make the color blue for perforated lines and then you want to go to your settings right up here, your line style window and you want to select your perforated line and just draw your perforated lines in here. So this one's finished. I'm going to draw another one down here. I could control, uh, click on this to duplicate it, but sometimes it's easier when there's something below it just to draw each line in. There's, there's not much here. Okay, and we need to do one more perforated line. And that goes right here. Now I need to go back and change my line color back to red, I like red for my cut lines and change our line style back to a solid line because right here is where you're going to need to place your little red cut lines. So basically you get the idea of how to put your lines in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this out of the way. I'm going to select all of this here by dragging my cursor over it and just delete it out because for those really troublesome um, files sometimes you have to go in and manually um, draw your cut lines and everything in so this is what I do. I usually since this is kind of a rectangular shape I use my rectangular drawing tool and I'll go in here and do this then to edit it to get it to fit I just double click and I start dragging these inwards here and then I'm going to bring this one in over here and this way can be a little time consuming but when you're done you'll have a really nice cut file. I'm going to add other, another node right here, click on that I'm going to bring it up to here and if you want these rounded corners you can go in and do some really good detail work. I'll do one of those corners for you just to show you what I mean. Okay, and I'm going to click right here and then I'm going to bring this corner in right there. I'm going to try to add another node right here and bring this out and if I have to adjust it, all we do is need to move it around a little bit. And as I can see, this one here needs to go in just a tad bit more so it lays on that line. I'm going to click here and make another node. Bring it up to this corner. We're going to drag this one in. Bring that out to there and click here on this line because we know we're going to have another curve right up here and do this. Now to get these curves in here I'm going to zoom in so I'm going to use my zoom tool 
and go right here and I like to use it anyway when I'm doing files because as you can see I don't have everything up perfectly aligned okay so right here I'm going to bend that in and I'm going to bend this in inward and then we're going to bring this node back right here and now I'm going to show you how to do these little curved areas and you're going to notice a big change okay I've clicked on this node right here and I'm going to click make curve and then I'm just going to move the arrow back in this way and then move this node down just a tad bit to curve that and of course this is going to change this so I need to bring that line back up and now I would go over and do the same thing here I'll make curve and just drag that down and in to where it meets exactly the way you want it to and then we're going to bring this little node in So you get the idea. I'm going to go back to our basic view, fit to window. I'm going to click off the editing. And you know that you can you would next go and do your perforated lines here, but I'm just going to show you quickly how this turned out. And of course I didn't do this bottom and curve it in. But as you can see it lines up perfectly with the template that I brought in. And now I have a great um, card cutting file for any kind of special occasion. I hope this has been helpful um, when you go to making your cards or your designs. I will see you on the Silhouette Plus forum or at my blog which is www.paperpaws.blogspot.com. Have a great day. Bye.